I really wish I could be more helpful. I don't know anything about that. I, hey, lots of people in the production office, on the crew, have access to my computers. An envelope of cash? To who? I don't think so. My accountant insists on a paper trail for everything. Maybe not everything. You see, Leslie Handelman got herself in money trouble. Thanks to your ace stuntman leading her on about exposure on your show. So she had a grudge against him. Plus, she needed money to keep her business going. And this has to do with me how? Hey, that's all I got for you. I told you, I mostly do my own maintenance. But yeah, I've been getting comped there some. See, Leslie, Leslie Handelman, gal that runs it. Leslie's been wanting to sponsor me, put their logo on my bike sort of thing. So it's kind of like the barter system, off the books. Only we haven't put it in motion yet. Certain permissions I gotta wrangle. You know how showbiz is. I got nothing for you. Here's where the rubber met the road. It's consistent with the 50 mile per hour impact. Yes. All right, we've got a nice clear view of the engine. Let's get even closer and see if we can spot the return spring. It's dark, but you see that? Our spring has already sprung. Must have been weakened enough to snap before the bike even landed. Whoever cut that spring sabotaged the stunt. So, since the return spring was snapped before the bike landed, the Kamawa tool is a key clue. What's up? You know, I just love it when people hide evidence. It's like they sent us an engraved invite to sit down for a friendly chat. We're a small production here. Everybody pitches in and does their part. I saw it on set, so I just grabbed it to give to the producer later. Not for a while. I told you already, I usually steer clear of that guy. Then you've either got a poor sense of direction or a bad memory. We've got evidence that you were there tonight, and arguing with him. Well, I wouldn't call it an argument, exactly. It was a discussion, that's all. A private discussion. Saba, what? Look, you two. I've tried to be helpful, even though I can't see why any kind of investigation is needed here. This was an accident. Move on. You had the opportunity to rig that gag to fail. And there's no love lost between you and that charmer ace. Would I cry if that obnoxious jerk landed real hard? Hell no. But I have a reputation to maintain, and anyway, I'd lose my damn job. Hadn't you already lost it, Mr. McLadden? What are you trying to do to me? Hey, lady, I'm a pro. I'm good at what I do. I take pride in it, and I don't screw around with people's damn lives. So our star stuntman is a horse's ace. So what? That's the showbiz breaks. People's tempers sometimes flare in showbiz, though, right? Between you and Corey Mazzotti, for instance? 
So it's not been wine and roses with me and Corey. What's the biggie? He's a producer with a stunt show that's in trouble, and I'm the logical whipping boy down his food chain to take the fall for falling ratings. And you went to his office to sort things out. Yeah, told him where to stick it. It's a high-stress job, but we came to terms, Corey and me. He called me in right after the gag went south and said if I cleaned up the mess quick, he'd make room for me next season. I got nothing for you. Sure, let's get your suspect back in here. Can't think of anything to tell you. He built up a big store credit and we were just working through it. No law against that. I don't see how that's your business. I have some customers that prefer cash and carry. What of it? What? That's a crock. A crock full of evidence. From your email to that Kamawa tool of yours. Look, I'm no criminal. I just got in over my head. I borrowed some money on the street and put it into my shop. Because Ace told me he'd promote my place on his show. But he never came through. Just kept bilking me for more free service in return for more empty promises. Finally, that producer, Corey, came by and said that he'd give me a service contract with the show next year if I helped. Even agreed to promote my place on the air, like Ace promised. Plus, he waved all that cash at me. All I had to do was rig Ace's bike. Why would a producer sabotage his own show? Ratings. The accident would stir up all kinds of media interest, and viewers. And Corey had Ace heavily insured if he got really hurt to where he couldn't perform or died or... Honestly, I can't believe I went along with it, but I did. Walk us through it. Corey called Ace away to discuss the stunt, as a distraction. Using that tool, I worked quickly on Ace's bike, weakening the throttle return spring. Later, I went to the casino, trying to get the nerve to warn Ace. But all I did was watch the stunt, hoping it would turn out okay. When I saw Ace hit the barricade, I... <laughs> I burst into tears. Thank God he wasn't hurt bad. See? You did have your side of this. For what good will do me? Corey has his side too, you know, and he'll deny all of this. People can deny anything they like, Ms. Handelman, but the evidence always has its side too. Can't think of anything to tell you. So we got both the mechanic and the stunt director pointing a finger at the producer. Okay, let's see if they're on to something. Well, you ought to be in my business with that kind of imagination. Ruin my own show, right, I'm sure. Ow! Oh. Funny. McLadden insists you did. He's covering his own backside. If anybody rigged this, it's McLadden. He and Ace are oil and water. You don't have a damn thing on me. Let's see. Your show's in trouble. Needs a rating boost bad. We have your prints on that cash envelope. There's the email you sent Ms. Handelman and the tool that was used to snap the return spring on Ace's bike. Your accomplice has already made you, and McLadden says you traded him job security for tampering with a crime scene. I guess we don't have much at that. 
Look, what's the harm? It was just an angle, you know, make it play better with all those 18-year-old males with ADD in our audience. Ace gets paid to take risks, right? No harm, no foul. So, I told the handleman broad I'd help her out of the financial jam Ace himself put her in. Sent the tool, and she made one little snip. Next thing you know, things are much more exciting. After the crash, I called McLadden. He'd gone postal before, worried about getting fired. So I made amends, promised to renew his contract next season if he helped clean up the mess. Now, can't we make some kind of arrangement? I didn't really do anything wrong. It was just, you know, television. Oh, you're going to be on TV, Mr. Mazzotti. And this is the kind of wild stunt where you don't walk away unharmed. I really wish I could be more helpful. You're off to a good start. You learned that things are not always as they appear, but the evidence cannot lie. Observational challenges test your memory of the case you just played. Correct answers allow you to improve your evaluation score. Good luck. Ha sido bastante fácil para mí escribir el guión de estos personajes. Ya he hecho unas seis novelas, algo así como 12 o 13 números del cómic de CSI. Y siempre he seguido la misma regla. Cuando escribo una línea de diálogo, si no me imagino, si no me imagino a Grison diciéndola, si no consigo oír la voz de William Peterson en mi cabeza, entonces vuelvo atrás y empiezo de nuevo hasta que suena como en la serie. Cuando trabajo en los diálogos, 
Intento meterme en la serie de televisión. Da, da igual si estoy trabajando en el juego, en una novela. Siempre tengo que ver un episodio en cinta de vídeo o en un DVD. Cuando vi la serie por primera vez y me sentí a leer con calma los seis episodios para plantearme si quería hacer este trabajo, um, vi una serie diferente, sin persecuciones. Una serie sin casi exteriores, donde no hay peleas ni nada de eso. Y, no obstante, CSI es una serie llena de acción, porque toda la acción, la violencia, todo eso se consigue con las reconstrucciones. Es un estilo expresionista increíble. Así que las reconstrucciones no podían faltar en los juegos, eran una parte muy importante. No se pueden concebir CSI a menos que tengas las reconstrucciones. A veces son erróneas, muestran lo que creemos que podría haber pasado. Luego sabemos que no fue así y lo hacemos otra vez.